Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher coming to you from Reading Town. Let's take a look at today's article. The title of the article is New Hive for Bees, right? So we know what bees are and bees have been in the news a lot because we're seeing fewer uh, bees than we did before. And bees are very, very important as today's article is going to talk about. So let's see a new hive for bees. A hive is the place where the bees live, right? So we can see the shape. Uh, that's called like a honeycomb shape. That's where uh, the bees uh, live and they make their honey. Let's take a look at today's article. It says bees are important to our planet. As some of the hardest working creatures on earth, they provide sources of food and beautify our world. So uh, bees help us grow our food as well as make the world a beautiful place. They're one of the most beautiful or the hardest working creatures in our planet. So they're one of the hardest working insects or bugs or animals uh, on earth. Um, without them, we cannot eat delicious fruits, vegetables, or honey, nor can we imagine beautiful flowery gardens. So not only do they help us uh, grow our fruits and vegetables and also grow the wonderful flowers that are beautiful to look at, but uh, we wouldn't be able to have all the beautiful gardens either because they work to keep those gardens very healthy. However, it seems that people do not give sufficient protection to bees. So the word here, sufficient, means not enough. So it seems that as important as bees are, people are not protecting them enough. So let's find out what it is that we can do. As the number of bees has decreased dramatically in Poland, there has been an increasing awareness to protect the creatures which rely on flowers to feed and survive. So the number of bees have decreased, meaning it has gone down. It's the opposite of increase. And dramatically means you can notice it. All of a sudden, a large number, so sharply, right? So the number of bees has gone down, right, a lot in the country of Poland. There has been increasing awareness. So increasing is the opposite of decreasing so increasing awareness awareness means more and more people are coming to know about it right so more and more people are coming to know that we must protect the bees the creatures and they rely they depend they need right they must have flowers to feed and survive so they need flowers to eat uh, get the nectar that they need and also survive and survive means to live or keep living so we are starting to understand that because we see less and less bees, people are starting to realize we need to do something about it. Okay? Some individuals set up a hive on the Vistula Riverbank in Krakow, the second largest city of Poland. So people are noticing that we need to do something to help the bees. And the people uh, in Krakow, which is the second largest city in Poland, they're setting up hives or the bee homes in Vistula Riverbank and the riverbank is right by the river so that land right by the river they're setting up the hives right these uh, bee homes uh, so that uh, these bees can have more protection and uh, be able to increase in number again it says it was designated as an ideal place due to its natural environment so here it was designated designated means it was chosen Right? Uh, people thought that it would be a good place. Ideal place means a very good place uh, because of its natural environment. So it's by the river, there's a lot of plants growing there because there's water available. So they thought that it would be a good place uh, to make a new home for the bees, the natural environment. The hive is made of wood with holes which can act as a shelter for 1,500 bees. So they made the hive not out of uh, the natural substances that the bees use, but they made it out of wood so it's stronger. So if there's wind or if it's cold, the bees can go in there and they can get shelter. Okay, And it can uh, hold over 1,500 bees. Moreover, or in addition, local people planted more than 80 different species of flowers, including daisies and poppies, to create favorable living conditions. So if you look at that sentence, people have planted more than 80 different kinds of flowers, species or different kinds, or 종류, different uh, species of flower, including daisies and poppies. Why did they do that? They want to create a favorable living condition. Favorable means it's good for you, it helps you, right? It benefits you. And living conditions are uh, how you are better able to live, right? So if 
we have favorable conditions, that means we have a nice house, right? And it keeps us warm, keeps us safe. Those are favorable living conditions. And same thing for the bees. They want to put the flowers near where they live. They want to have a strong wooden hive so that they can be protected and find shelter. These are favorable living conditions, okay? Hubert uh, Keck Pripsky, who participated in this project said, bees have to live somewhere as we all do. So um, we understand that bees, just like us, they need uh, favorable living conditions. They need a home, uh, they need food around them, and they're not much different from us. They work very hard, they do very important things, such as keeping our fruits and vegetables uh, healthy, as well as giving us the beautiful flowery gardens. And if we don't do something to protect them, then we won't be able to have these things. So bees are very important, and people in Poland and all over the world are doing their best to protect these precious bees. So very important article uh, about what we can do to help save the bees. Very interesting. Let's take a look at today's comprehension questions. As you can see, these are bees inside the hive, and that doesn't look like a wooden hive, that looks like a natural hive uh, that the bees live in and store their food. So it says here, first question, what do bees provide to our planet? So we said bees do many different things. Uh, they're most famous for honey, but they also help take care of many important things that we need. So what's the answer? They provide sources of food and beautify our world. So they give us uh, food, they take care of our vegetables, uh, as well as our fruits, and they make our world beautiful by giving us flowers. Uh, let's look at the second question. What is the second largest city in Poland? So we talked about it uh, in the article, it came out. Uh, I believe Warsaw is the most, uh, it's the largest city in Poland, but in the article we talked about the second largest city. Do you remember the name? That's right, it's called Krakow. So in Krakow, Poland, this is where people are trying to protect the bees. What is the hive made of? We talked about it earlier too. This is a natural hive. So if you take a natural hive, I've seen people cut the natural hive with, uh, with a knife and then that's how they take the honey out. But the one that they want to make in Krakow is not made like that, but it's made of wood. So this is a stronger hive that they've made so that the bees could be protected. Let's take a look at the final part, fill in the blank and finish the sentence. It says, bees are blank to our planet. So we know that they're very, very important. So another word or another meaning uh, that is similar to that is, right, important. So we know that bees are very crucial. They're very critical. They're important to our planet because they do so many different work, right? They do so many different things. Uh, let's look at the second sentence. It says, uh, blank them. We cannot eat delicious fruits, vegetables, or honey, nor can we imagine beautiful flowery gardens. So if we, what do we, what do, we do uh, when we take them out? Then as a result, right? So what is uh, the cause? If we do what? We cannot have them. So that means without them, right? So without the bees, we cannot enjoy all these great things. And the final question, it was blank as an ideal place due to its natural environment. So we need a verb here because uh, we did something. So what happened? to the natural environment. Why did people uh, choose that place? So we need a word that has that kind of meaning and we learned about it earlier in the article and it was designated or it was chosen uh, that that would be the best place, the riverbank. Uh, so we know that through today's article that bees are very important. They play a very important role uh, in helping us get our food, like fruits and vegetables, but also make beautiful flowery gardens. So we need to do something to protect these animals, especially animals that are endangered, like the bees. I just heard recently that the bees have been added to the endangered species list, which is very scary because that's something that many people would never have imagined. So if we don't take care of our planet and don't take care of these important insects, then we may lose a lot of important things, things that we need as well. So I hope you enjoyed today's article. And just like the people in Poland, let's see what you and I can do to protect these important and precious bees. I hope you enjoyed the article. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.